Hello everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updates video. I really hope that you guys are doing great. Now we're going to be taking a look at what is happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas as it relates to weather activity today. Now as we can immediately see from the infrared satellite imagery, there isn't much happening across the Caribbean and uh, even to the east of the Caribbean as well going toward the African coast so somewhat of a drier pattern has set in there is no major weather system right now which is bringing impacts let's zoom into the region here the most we're seeing are these passing clouds coming in from the east which may bring with them a bit of rainfall here and there to portions of the lesser antilles antigua uh, barbuda going toward the windward islands so there isn't any major weather system, as I said. Now, as we take a look at the rainfall forecast for today, this is from Euro. And here we can see the shades of these grays and these greens as well across areas such as, as I said before, the Windward Islands going toward Jamaica and over into Central America. So at the most, there could be rainfall amounts up to a quarter of an inch for today. So uh, that is what is expected at the maximum, but for some areas that may be a bit sunnier, such as the Yucatan Peninsula, even toward the Cayman Islands, especially for Grand Cayman and parts of Cuba, and even Hispaniola as well. But again, those passing showers are possible up toward the Bahamas, also seeing some of those green shadings, and for the Turks and Caicos Islands. As we head toward the wind speed forecast, here we're seeing it from, again, Euro, and we can see some of these darker shades of purples, which indicates uh, those winds up to around 15 or 20 knots thereabouts. And some spots of blues as well, winds going up to around 25 knots within those areas. So portions of the Eastern Caribbean are expected to be a little bit more active today as it relates to the wind speed, which includes the Windward Islands going toward Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, St. Lucia, and uh, even toward the ABC Islands, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire as well. So those areas may be a bit windier for the rest of us. It should be calm for the most part. Uh, winds up to around 5 or 10 knots at the most. Also quite windy for the Northwest Bahamas. So the Grand Bahama, the Abaco Islands going toward Florida. And even for portions of the uh, other portions of the Gulf Coast states and even the East Coast, the Southeast Coast of the U.S. Moving on to the Saharan air layer forecast. So the Saharan dust is something that is no stranger to the Caribbean on occasion. It will uh, make its way through in these large plumes, mostly as we head towards summer. It peaks in July and uh, that is when the most dust is carried from the Sahara Desert in Africa across the Atlantic and to the Caribbean. And it has its benefits. For one, it helps to limit tropical cyclone activity. And also, it uh, carries nutrients that are deprived in some regions towards them. So that will help to boost crop production. But on the downside, it does result in very low visibility and it can trigger some allergic reaction those are the downsides but as of right now we're seeing that much of the dust isn't a problem for the caribbean but as we head into the coming months we're definitely going to be seeing more and more of these plumes headed towards the region finally we're taking a look at the latest update from the climate prediction center this is the global tropics hazards outlook map and we're focusing on the atlantic basin in week two now, we're seeing these brown shadings for parts of the Caribbean islands, the southern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos islands, as well as sections of Central and South America. So that is indicating the chance of below average rainfall, which means less rainfall than what is typical within those areas at this time of year. So this is from the 10th going toward the 16th of January. So some of these areas may not experience too much as it relates to rainfall. And I believe the reason for that is the front. The front, they may remain a bit further to the north in latitude associated with those storm systems, which will be moving across the U.S. So I have been watching the models and I have been seeing where much of these fronts are not expected to bring any substantial impacts to the Caribbean as it relates to any significant rainfall and even uh, those cooler temperatures as well, which we experienced at times last year in December. So with that, I believe that's the reason the Climate Prediction Center is now uh, highlighting these areas for below average rainfall because within the off-season months, this is one of the sources of significant rainfall, these frontal systems which make their way out of the U.S. and toward the Caribbean, but they, uh, they may not be as strong to bring any substantial impacts. 
But of course, guys, uh, this is a forecast and things can change. And this does not mean there will be no rainfall whatsoever. It's just that some areas may be drier than a normal uh, as we head throughout the next week or so. But of course, I'm here to keep you guys posted on all that is happening. And that is pretty much it for this update video. So I hope you found it to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be with the wise.